Hello and welcome to the second part of this um, register and login users account system tutorial thingy. Uh, in this part I'm going to start the actual coding. In the previous part I just gave a background on how the system works and then in the very last part, so part one of this tutorial, we um, went over the database structure and the folder file directory structure thing. Um, yeah, so in this one we're going to, I blanked out all my PHP code, um, there's some HTML left in two of the files, but I'll go over that when we get to that part of the tutorial, so the rest of it is just blank PHP files. Um, in this one we're going to start in our login.inc.php file, it's one of the backend ones located in the uh, inc folder, which is in the core folder. Um, so yeah, this login, there's only a single function that we need to use in reference to the login. Um, basically what this function is going to do is check to see if the information the user has provided matches, um, so that's the username and the password, matches a row in the database. Um, so it's just checking to see if it's valid. If it is, it will return true. If it is not valid, it will return false. Um, so basically, we're going to lay this out as we would any other function, starting with the function keyword and then the name. And we're going to call this function valid information. And then we open up our code block. And we're just going to give it a comment line to say, or to explain what it does. So it's going to check to see if the user information is valid. So it's going to um, take two parameters the username and the password and basically all it's going to do is count the number of rows where the username is equal to a username and a password is equal to that password so where those two coincide um, but since we're working with MySQL um, we need to have some protection to prevent against MySQL injection. So in order to do this we are going to first, uh, or not first because it's the only check we need to do, we are going to use the MySQL real escape string function. So that's MySQL real escape string. Basically all this does is takes any um, MySQL meaningful char characters and uh, converts them so that they do not, they no longer harm the query. It is similar to um, the HTML entities uh, function, but the HTML entities has a different purpose that's protecting against XS, XSS injection. Um, and in turn, that, 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 that's not what we're looking to do right now. So it has different um, purpose and different actual function, but um, it's a similar, if you need a way to think about it, it's similar in the nature of things. So I'm going to set the username equal to the MySQL my real escape string of our username. So all that's going to do is reassign this variable to um, protected uh, form. Now we're going to do the same thing with the password. Uh, this is because in most, uh, in most, what am I looking to say? In most uh, tutorials that I uh, log in and register, you would normally encode your or encrypt your password right here. However, since our or this tutorial has um, the cookie, the remember me function, we're actually going to be um, providing an encrypted password. So, we're just going to then have password in there. And that is all for our security. So now we're going to uh, go down a couple lines and we're going to perform our query. So we're just going to call it select and that is going to be equal to space that forward for neatness um, and that's a MySQL query. Now basically, as I explained before, what this query is going to be doing is counting the number of rows where the username is equal to the, this username, the 
value provided and a password in that same row is equal to this password um, and it's just going to if there is one it will return true and if there is not one it will return false so this query um, is basically uh, it's a pretty basic select query has nothing too fancy about it what we're going to do is um, select the count which is a function that counts the number of rows that um, talking with my hands here but you can't see my hands counts the number of rows that meet the clause or the queries uh, where part of the thing so it's going to select count and we're going to count the user ID um, so select count user ID from users the table we're selecting from and then we have our where and we want to have where username is equal to and we have to escape it so using curly brace and curly brace inside here we're going to put the username variable scroll across a little bit so um, oh, just side note these ticks um, little ticky thingers are used to denote the username they are not quotes or they are not single quotes or um, yeah I guess these are probably called back ticks or something like that I knew at one point I really don't care um, they're located on the same key as your tilde which is the little squiggly thing like that if that helps um, so yeah every or every table name or um, or column name will be put inside of those ticks and every um, string uh, data thing so this username for instance because it's a string will be put inside regular quotes in case you cannot see the difference anyways moving on um, so where username is equal to username and password is equal to password again you have to escape it inside of curly braces which essentially just um, concatenates the value on but in a nicer neater form and it works slightly differently anyways that's the query um, now what we're going to do is return the results of this query well not the results itself but we're going to return based on the result of this query so all we're doing is selecting the count of it. So what we're going to use here is um, a ternary, ternary, ternary operator. I can't speak. Um, basically, the syntax of it, it will just be return, um, and then inside of here we're going to go MySQL result, and the MySQL result function takes the two parameters. Um, first is the query, and then the number of rows, or whichever row you want to skip but we're using zero because that's what we're doing and then so we want to see if that's equal to one um, we want to return true otherwise we want to return false now uh, I'll explain this to you right now this line the syntax of it can be confusing if you don't um, often use these operators basically um, this ternary operator takes this parameter well not it's not a parameter but um, it checks this condition right so if this condition is equal to true which is what the question mark denotes we're going to return this if it's not equal to true we'll return that so um, in essence this would be the same as saying um, if oh well we would first define Oh, well, I'll just do it like this. If my SQL result is equal to 1, return true, else return false. It's just a nicer and more efficient way of doing things. So, yeah, hope that makes sense. Um, if not, you can go to this basic uh, if else statement as works in the exact same manner. So yeah, that's that for that function, so we'll return true 
if there is one and false if there is not one. Um, so, on to our register.inc file. The first function in this uh, is going to be used to actually register the user. It will be used to add um, a new user to the database. So, we're going to define it in the same way. Uh, add user is what it will be called as we are adding a user and that just makes logical sense. And the comment to what it does is um, create a new or add a new user. New user to the table. Now similarly to the login function, this is going to take the username and the password parameter. Um, so, this username, again to protect, just going through with things, um, this username is going to be both um, protecting it from or with XSS injection because it may be displayed directly back to the user so we don't want them to have any harm where they can enter meaningful my or um, HTML characters and since it's going into a database we also have to protect it from my MySQL injection so we'll both be using HTML entities and MySQL real escape string so this is a lot to type out but the HTML entities of the username and on top of that we're going to say MySQL real escape string. And that's the security we need on the username. And now the password this time is going to be encrypted because we want to store the encrypted password into the database. So our encryption type, we're just going to be using the SHA1 of the MD5 hash of our password. Basically this isn't the most secure way you can encrypt something, but assuming your database is secure, you should be able to store passwords in plain text and still have no harm done. But all this is going to do is encrypt it with MD5 and then encrypt the already encrypted password with SHA1. And that's all that we need because the encryption will prevent any um, harmful characters from being displayed. So after that all we have to do is insert the users or insert them in insert this information into the users table. So again, this will be done just with a basic MySQL query, and that query is going to be insert into, and again, users with backticks. Um, so the values listed in a set of brackets in backticks, um, we'll have two of them, the first one being username, second one being password, as the um, user ID auto increment so we don't need to insert any value for that and then we're inserting the values of again in brackets or in parentheses, parentheses brackets um, again two values there we have to escape them just like we did before with these curly braces um, they will be the username and escaped in this set be the password and all that's going to do is insert to the users the value of a username and password of username and password. So that, that should be pretty straightforward there. Now this last um, function that we're going to be using, or making, creating, whatever, um, is going to see if a given username is already in use. So we'll comment that check to see if the username is in use and we'll call this function username underscore free and this only takes the one parameter of the username basically what this function will do is check to see if there's already a row it will count the number of rows um, that uh, that uh, this username appears in so we're just going to select where username is equal to username and uh, if it's equal to zero so if the username is free it will return true if it's equal to one or any other thing other than zero it will return false meaning that the username is already taken and then we'll notify the user and obviously not them let them register so again um, 
we're going to have username is equal to MySQL real escape string of the username. And then uh, we'll have a select query once more. So we'll select is equal to space that forward MySQL query. And this query, again, just a basic query, is going to be select. We're going to count the user ID once more, just like we did in the um, login. It's going to be a very similar query to the login from users where username is equal to, and once again, escaping the variable username. And that's that query. So this will count the number of times this username is in this table. So once again, we're going to use a ternary operator to return. Um, so we'll go return uh, MySQL result. Again, two parameters. The first is the query. Second is the rows you are skipping, so zero. And um, we want to check that against zero. So if that's equal to zero, it means that the username can't be used. So again, we'll have this question mark and then this colon. So if this name can be used, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we are going to return false. And that's that function. So now we have our three functions made. And um, they are ready to be used in the creation of accounts and such. Um, so that's that for this part of the tutorial. Please join me in the next part where I will be coding out the init file, which is the backend library containing file of awesomeness. And thanks for watching.